Director Gerard Johnstone employed the less is more adage while reshooting his eagerly anticipated robot horror flick, Megan. What he ended up with was even more disturbing than the original. Is it too early to proclaim the movie of the year? In any case, Megan has already accrued a ton of buzz on the strength of its trailer alone. The artificially intelligent title character with her blank stare and TikTok-ready dance moves is a clear frontrunner for horror's cultiest new villain. Megan stars Alison Williams in her first Blumhouse feature since 2017's Get Out. Williams plays Gemma, a robotics engineering whiz who takes in her orphan niece, Katie, when her sister and brother-in-law tragically die in a car accident. Gemma provides a companion for her traumatized niece in the form of Megan, or Model 3 generative android. When the childlike droid becomes overprotective of Katie, she becomes infinitely more violent than Gemma ever anticipated. Are you listening to me, Brandon? While some fans are worried that the film's PG-13 rating will tamp down the scares, director Gerard Johnstone insists that the teen-friendly rating made Megan even more disturbing. In retooling Megan to achieve a PG-13 rating, Johnstone leaned into the idea that the power of suggestion can be terrifying. For Johnstone, reshooting certain scenes and emphasizing cutaways and off-camera violence was even more disturbing than straightforward gore. Johnstone said in an interview with Total Film and Games Radar Plus, "...what I was really stoked about is that when we reshot those scenes, they were more effective. It's like, yes, you do have to cut away at certain times, but it's fun having to rely on sound and suggestion so much." Johnstone recalled reshooting a specific scene involving the scary dog next door. The end of the scene occurs off-camera, leaving the dog's fate entirely to the viewer's imagination. Johnstone told the outlet, "...I remember turning to my sound designer after a redo and just saying, holy sh that's worse. We were trying to get this PG-13 rating and I was like, that is so much worse than what we had before. Other off-camera scares are surely in store for those who accidentally cross Megan's path. Giving Megan a PG-13 rating may not have been the original plan, but it didn't take much to walk the movie back from an R rating. John Stone said in the interview, making it PG-13 was something that happened after the fact, but it was always so close to PG-13 anyway. It makes sense to court teen audiences, given the ages and sensibilities of the main characters. John Stone continued, "...it seems kind of a mistake not to embrace it." Furthermore, PG-13 horror films aren't without precedent, and one in particular was a lodestar for Johnstone. The director told Total Film and Games Radar Plus, "...I even remember thinking early on, this could be PG-13, and some of my favorite films like Drag Me to Hell are PG-13." Indeed, Sam Raimi's supernatural horror film has a devoted cult following, despite the lower rating. Roger Ebert even called Drag Me to Hell macabre, over-the-top, fun, funny, silly, and loud and bombastic. Characteristics that achieved without an excess of gore or adult-only themes. Other beloved horror movies, including A Quiet Place, The Ring, and The Sixth Sense, are all rated PG-13 as well. I see dead people. Jason Blum also has no qualms about the PG-13 stamp. The producer told The Hollywood Reporter, "...some of the scariest movies of all time are PG-13, so I don't put too much stock in the belly aching. Go see the movie and then tell me about it." 